All right. Um, the sorcerer. Here we go. So the sorcerer has sorcery points, meta magics, spells, and cantrips. So they already had a budget uh, for weird stuff, which was the sorcery points. Um, I am curious if they're getting more sorcery points than they had before. Um, I think they are. So let me bring up the table for sorcerer so I could compare and contrast. All right, let's see. Sorcerer points at level 10 <laughs> is 10. Sorcery points at level 10 is 74. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to say that there's more sorcery points in the system. That is probably because you use sorcery points to cast spells, because you will notice that there are no spell slots on the sorcerer. That is because they have gone to the system, like the Final Fantasy mana point system, and that is awesome. Uh, I am very excited. Let's check this out. Uh, all right, holy shit. Um, as a sorcerer, you gain spells by channeling raw sorcerer's power burning within you. First level, you know four cantrips of your choice. You learn additional cantrips uh, when you level up. You can change out them when you level. Sorcery points. Uh, you have a point, a pool of sorcery points known as sorcery points, and then the blah, blah, blah. Um, you cast spells using sorcery points. Two, three, five, six, and seven for your most powerful uh, fifth level spots. It's not a lot of points because it powers everything you do, including your spellcasting. So it seems like a lot of points, but it's not a lot of points. It's going to go real quick. Um, all right. Spellcasting ability. Charisma is your spellcasting ability. Correct. Spellcasting focus. You don't need arcane focus to cast spells. You are your own spellcasting focus. Though you probably want a spellcasting focus to take damage from dangerous spellcasting from darker dungeons, but it's still your personal choice. Sorcerer's versatility. When you finish a long rest, you may replace one of your known sorcerer spells, including cantrips, with another spell from the sorcerer spell list. Wow, that's very generous. No special things have to be done. You just get to do it. That's pretty badass. Okay. Uh, let's see. Upcasting spells. When you cast a sorcerer spell at a higher level, you can't exceed the maximum spell level that you normally can cast. Replacing those spells when you cast this spell. Sorcerer uh, level, you may cast uh, replace it with another spell. The sorcerer spell is, uh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Uh, meta magics. The rules of magic are your plaything. You twist them around. Choose two meta magics at level one. Let's do this thing. Uh, you can master new meta magics uh, when you gain more sorcerer levels. You can replace existing ones when you gain new sorcerer levels. Careful spell. When you cast a spell that forces another creature to make a saving throw, you can protect some of those creatures from the spell's effects. Spend one sorcery point and choose a number of those creatures up to your charisma on a fire. A chosen creature automatically succeeds on its saving throw. Uh, heightened spell. When you cast a spell that forces a creature to make a saving throw to resist its effects, you can spend three sorcery points to give one target of the spell disadvantage on its first saving throw made against the spell. I just want to check something real quick. Does it say when you get sorcery points back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. On a long rest, I figured. Okay. Um, when you cast a spell that causes it to make a saving throw, you can just three sorcery points to give it disadvantage. That's really good. Especially from first level. Um, inverted spell. I thought this was weird the last time I saw it, but he Pokemon style paired off the elementals uh, into fire, cold, radiant, necrotic, lightning, thunder, poison, acid, psychic force. Um, but you can spend a sorcery point to invert, uh, damage from one to the other. So cold fireball into a cold ball, etc., etc. Um, you can combine inverted spell with other meta magics during the casting of a spell. That's good to know. Uh, quicken spell. When you cast a spell that has a casting time of one action, you can spend two sorcery points to change it to one bonus action. Subtle spell. Uh, you don't need somatic or verbal components. Twin spell. Um, when you cast spell that A targets only one creature and B doesn't have a range of self, you can spend a number of sorcery points equal to the spell level to target a second creature in range uh, of the same spell. Uh, a spell can be twinned only if it is incapable of targeting more than one creature at the spell's casting level. 
Magic Missile and Scorching Ray aren't eligible. Ray of Frost and Chromatic Orb are. Sorcerer's Origin. Uh, your Sorcerer's Origin will give you extra stuff. Uh, Sorcerer's Origin is a permanent choice. Once you choose an Origin spell, that selection is permanent. You cannot change it out using Sorcerer's Versatility. All right. Origin Metamagics. You gain access to four unique Metamagics from your Sorcerer's Origin. Add these to your list of Metamagic options. Sorcerer's Recovery. Your Sorcerer's Body feeds on magic, turning the raw energies of the world into a powerful sorcery. When you take damage from a spell cast by another creature or object, you can spend your reaction uh, to regain a number of expended sorcery points equal to the level of the spell that hurt you. Oh, you literally absorb magic. That's cool. Um, and you could have your friend cast spells into you if you want to. Um, but since it's equal to the level of the spell, cantrip spells cannot be used to cheese this. Um, you can use this feature once, and you regain expended uses when you finish long rest. Starting at fifth level, you can use it twice, and I believe you can use it three times. That's a really flavorful way to recover your, your sorcery points. That's really flavorful. Um, metamorphosis. You infuse your physical form of sorcery, transforming yourself temporarily into a sorcerer's avatar of magic. You gain two metamorphosis forms as determined by your sorcerer's origin. Bad ass. You may spend an action to cast metamorphosis and transform into one of these forms. You may choose which form each time you cast the spell. You can gain this feature, uh, use this feature once and regain it when you finish a long rest. Us. This is so badass. Uh, can it work with non-damaging spells? I believe the word damage is in here. Yep, when you take damage from a spell cast by another creature or object, uh, you have to spend your reaction. So it has to be a damaging spell. Hmm. So it doesn't happen very often, I'm, I'm assuming, unless the DM is remembering to put enemy spellcasters down. So you may have to ask your friend, give me some of that magic, bro. All right. Metamorphosis. Uh, let's see. As a sorcerer, you can cast Metamorphosis without using any sorcery points. Uh, as a spell, it can be interrupted by normal means, such as Counterspell. In these cases, Metamorphosis counts as a six-level spell. Oh, that's big dick right there. Six level. Um, it takes one action. It lasts for up to one minute. It does require concentration? No, it doesn't say it requires concentration. Okay. Uh, you transmute your physical form into a raw sorcerer's power. Choose a metamorphosis form as permitted by your sorcerer's origin until the spell ends. You gain all the features of that form. It lasts until you have uh, ended as a bonus action, fallen conscious, you are shapeshifted into another form. Uh, all right. Acid. Your flesh transforms into gelatinous corrosive ooze. Uh, you are immune to acid and have, have vulnerability to slashing. Okay, that's weird. Um, you can move through a space as narrow as one inch. Uh, you can spend an action to create a 10-foot radius sphere of acid centered on yourself. That's kind of cool. Um, bludgeoning. I'm not going to read all these. Cold. Fire, force, lightning. Uh, the physical descriptions assigned to each metamorphosis are examples of how you can look. However, work with your DM to so make yourself look as dope as possible. Um... Necrotic. All of these give you um, a resistance and a vulnerability. Uh, which is interesting. Well, not all of them. This one here says resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, slashing from non-magical attacks. Uh, poison form, psychic form, piercing form, thunder form, slashing form, radiant form. Alright. Um, here's the spell list for the sorcerer. And sorcerer's origin. The only one they have right now is draconic bloodline. They're talking about Chaos Incarnate, Returned, Hellspawn, and Time Streamer. Time Streamer sounds pretty dope. Um, all right, add some origin spells. Ten unique spells. Uh, add two at each of these levels. Give them four fancy metamagics. Uh, give them one introductory feature, a third level feature, a sixth level feature, and two different metamorphosis forms. You can make your own metamorphosis form by following these directions. What does the Draconic Bloodline do? Alright, you get these spells. Which, I don't know why they're listing 7th and ninth level, because you don't actually get to them. They must have just copy-pasted. 
Uh, Meta Magic. Add the following four Meta Magics to your list. Chromatic Spell. When you roll damage for a spell, you can spend one sorcery point to change that damage the, to the type of your Draconic Ancestry. Well, that's pretty dope. Turn any damaging spell into the element that you are attuned with. That is awesome. For one sorcery point. Um, empowered. When you roll damage for a spell, you can spend one for sorcery point. To re-roll damage dice up to your Charisma modifier, but you must use the new rolls, and you can combine this with other stuff. Extended spell. Uh, extend the distance of a spell or the duration of a spell. Cannot compound that with something else. Seeking spell. Uh, plus two to the first attack. First attack roll you make as part of that spell. Uh, combine seeking with other metamagics. It's very expensive for a plus two bonus. Um, choose one type of dragon as your ancestor. You can speak, read, and write draconic. Whenever you make charisma checks to interact with dragons, your proficiency dumbest, uh, bonus is doubled. At first level, your hit points increase by plus one uh, and increase it again. Additionally, parts of your skin are covered by thin sheen of dragon-like scales. Uh, dragon breath, you can spend your action to exhale destructive energy. Your draconic ancestry determines the size, shape, and damage type of your breath. Each creature in the area of your dragon breath must make a saving throw. A creature takes 3d6 damage on a field save and half as much damage on a successful one. You may use this feature once. You regain expended uses when you finish a long rest. Greater dragon breath. At 6th level, the damage dealt by your dragon breath increases from 3d6 to 4d6. In addition, you can use this feature twice. Okay, pretty cool. Um, pretty cool. Elemental of Affinity, when you cast a spell that deals damage to the type associated with your Draconic Ancestry, which you can do by spending one Sorcery Point, um, you can add your Charisma modifier at the same time. You can spend one Sorcery Point to gain resistance to the type for one hour. Hmm. And then your Metamorphosis, uh, you turn into a fucking dragon. Uh, scales cover your body as large leathery wings burst from your back. Uh, you have resistance to bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing damage from magical attacks. Uh, you have a flight speed equal to your current speed. Um, you will fall if your metamorphosis ends while you're flying. Uh, and terrifying presence. You can spend an action to terrify those around you, each creature within 30 feet. That is aware of you. Must make a wisdom save or become frightened. A creature can repeat the saving throw at the end of each of its turns. If a creature's saving throw is successful. Mm. Mm -hmm. Dragon Ancestors. Blizzard Dragon, Earthquake Dragon, Tornado Dragon, Typhoon Dragon, Volcanic Dragon. Man, this guy is well-versed in his dragons. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like it. Um, very cool. All right. And that takes us to that. 